श्रुति स्मृति आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्यूत्रे ईश्वर गुरुरात्मे मूर्तिद विभागिने व्योम दक्षिण शंकराचार्यंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ सीर्जी भगवता मध्ये अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टाध्यायी अंबत्मुसंधावर्षिणी यमींद्रुद्ध सुमंतिर्यस्तवी ध्यानावस्थिर मनसा पश्योनाशुरा Please, I'm unmuting you. <coughs> so let's chant from verse number sixteen. Nasato vidyate bhava. Nasato vidyate bhava. Yeah, Girish ji, uh, Girish Kunna ji, you can repeat after me. Oh, one, one second, one second. विद्यते सतः उभयोरपि 
कश्चि कर्तुमर्हति न कश्चित कर्तुमर्हति अंतवंत इमे देहाह अंतवंत इमे देहाह नित्यस्योक्ता शरीरिनः नित्यस्योक्ता शरीरिनः अनाशिनो प्रमेयस्य अनाशिनो प्रमेयस्य तस्माद् युद्ध्यस्व भारत तस्माद् युद्ध्यस्व भारत ये नम वेति हंतारम ये नम वेति हंतारम यस्चैनम मन्यते हतम यस्चैनम मन्यदे हतम उभाव ताव न विजानीता हा उखाव ताव न विजानीता हा नायम हंति न हन्यते नायम हंति न हन्यते क्या क्या रिमेन अनुमति सो वी कंप्लीटेड वर्स नंबर नाइनटीन लास्ट क्लास सो वी सॉ that uh, krishna was telling us a fact which we did not know before and the fact is that uh, generally i think of myself as somebody who does a lot of things all day long we do things all life long we do things and we do things we do things expecting a result otherwise you know why would we do something so if we ca carefully analyze what we do we find that every act of ours small medium big life changing acts whatever you want to call it there is always a purpose behind it and so we do we are asked we are called upon to do also and we have followed dharma and so we do now krishna is telling us atma does not act there is no action for atma so that is the insight he is giving us and i am atma but i have taken myself to be the body and so whatever the body does i do so my my body walks my legs walk and say i walk and i say the body is tall but i say i am tall the vocal cords are operating the mouth the jaws are opening up and down and i say i speak looks like i take on it is like taking credit you know it is like taking somebody else's credit you know somebody does hard work and then i say i did it because nobody is watching you know the people are not watching we behave in a funny way and so i am happy to take credit like this i have taken all the things that my body and the mind did i say i did it and the beauty is everybody thinks of it the same way everybody makes that same mistake therefore nobody looks at me and says hey wait a minute what you are saying is wrong nobody says that because everybody commits the same mistake therefore this this particular problem is a universal problem and here krishna is saying ओ अर्जुन यम वेत्ति वन हू नोस् दिस आत्मा येनम आत्मा एंड वन हू थिंक्स ऑफ दिस आत्मा एज ए किलर अंतर वेरी स्ट्रांग वर्ड किलर एंड वन हू थिंक्स ऑफ दिस आत्मा एज गोइंग टू बी किल्ड 
okay subject to be killed then those two people don't know what they are talking about they are ignorant about the art this is what he has said in this verse number 19 and na ayam hanti na hanyate ayam atma na hanti atma does not kill that's what he is saying so sanskrit class students this uh, hanti is a very unique handatu uh, it is not like patdatu pat singular is patati but han singular is saha hanti so you should not say hanti is plural somebody asks you sharada what is hanti vivaranam dadatu you can't say uh, prathama purusha bhuvachanam don't say say prathama purusha ekavachanam hanti hataha gnanti hanti hataha gnanti okay so a small piece of information there okay so this we studied last time now let's let's go to the next we just we were saying we were talking a little bit about about ahankara in the concluding portion of the last class we said hey wait a minute if atma does not do anything then how come i am doing things because i am atma after all and without doing things nothing happens how do i even feed my stomach if i don't do i must know i am hungry i must cook food or i must ask somebody to make some food for me and then i must consume all this how all these actions are going to happen then we said ahankara this is where ahankara comes ahankara is not a bad word ahankara is ahankara aham karta iti ahankara the definition of ahankara is what aham means i aham karo me i do therefore i am called ahankara i say i do therefore that entity which says that i do is called ahankara that's all ahankara is and we don't translate it as ego or not ahankara is not ego because ego in english has other meanings and connotations so we just leave it as ahankara okay so we said that ahankara continues to be there and the ahankara is either ignorant means either i don't know that i am a non doer i am akarta or i know i am akarta i am a non doer when i know i am a non doer ahankara continues to be there and that ahankara is swami ji always calls it as enlightened ahankara unenlightened ahankara enlightened ahankara so ahankara continues to be there so when after the enlightened person you want to address hey swami ji you call do you want the swami ji to respond or not do you want the person to know that he is swami ji or not uh, ahankara gone because he is enlightened the gone means what now you call swami ji he just he just looks at you like this and he or she looks at you why because gone ahankara is gone vanished you know because atma vidya is a is a, is a you know is a sanyasi and he is a jnani also so that doesn't happen so we don't if that were to happen shankaracharya cannot write all these things and he can't say vasudevendra yogindram and all these things nothing would happen and all the reading writing teaching happens because the enlightened ahankara continues to stay continues to exist so this is uh, uh, by the way but an important by the way okay now we are going to chant the uh, 20th shloka okay akila i am going to unmute yourself <clears throat> न जायते म्रियते वा न जायते म्रियते वा कदाचित् कदाचित् नायं भूत्वा नायं भूत्वा अभविता अभविता वानभूयः वानभूयः अजो नित्यः अजो नित्यः शाश्वतो यम पुराणः शाश्वतो यम पुराणः न हन्यते न हन्यते अन्यमाने शरीरे अन्यमाने शरीरे इस अगेन 
न जायते प्रियते वा कदाचित न जायते प्रियते वा कदाचित नायम भूत्वा भविता वा न भूयः नायम भूत्वा भविता वा न भूयः अजो नित्य शाश्वतो यम पुराणः अजो नित्य शाश्वतो यम पुराणः न हन्यते हन्यमाने शरीरे न हन्यते हन्यमाने शरीरे या इसे भी मैं नहीं उठे so here the essence of this message of the shloka is that krishna is going to say atma is free from change atma is free from change now some basics some of you may have noticed a different style of chanting how many of you noticed a different style of style of chanting okay so uh, at least half of you seems to have noticed okay that's good <laughs> so so far what was the style of chanting anta vanta ime deha ha nityasyokta sharirinah anashino prameyasya tasmad yudhya swabharat like that we chant now what do we do na jayate mriyate va kadachit na yam bhutva bhavita va na bhuya अजो नित्य शाश्वतो यम पुराणः न हन्यते हन्य माने शरीरे सो द स्लाइटली डिफरेंट वे ऑफ चैंट व्हाई इज दैट बिकॉज़ आई फिजिकली इटसेल्फ इट इज ऑब्वियस इट्स अ लॉन्गर लॉन्गर श्लोका आई डोंट थिंक एट लीस्ट इन दिस बुक इट अपीयर्स लॉन्गर इट इट ट्रैवल्स ओवर टू लाइंस एक्चुअली ईच लाइन ईच सेंटेंस सो इफ यू स्टार्ट काउंटिंग यू विल फाइंड दैट previously we had eight syllables times four right eight times four some of you have already said that so eight times four is anushtup chandaha now what do you have na ja ye te mri ye te va ka da chit 11 11 times four you count you will get 11 times four so 44 syllables are there in the shloka versus eight times four 32 So that's why we are chanting it differently. So you will. This is called Trishtup Chanta. This is called Trishtup Chanta. So just for your information. So even Vishnu Sahasranam, occasionally you will find Trishtup, but most of the time it will be Anushtup Chanta. Shuklam Bharada Ramvishnu Shashivarnam Chatur Bhujam Prasanna Vada Nam Jaye Tarva Vigno Pashanta Ye Anushtup Chanta. So here it is Trishtup. So first time I think. Uh, in this chapter i think uh, no nah, i should say first time hey <laughs> arjuna arjuna has given us trishtup chanda already from fifth verse onwards fifth shloka onwards guru na hatva hi mahan ubavan na jayate mriyate va kadachit so so we are used to it all right <clears throat> okay so the subject is there see the second chapter the till verse number uh, 35 or something like that it is atma vidya okay so it is it is talking krishna is going to tell about the nature of atma then he is going to move on to karma yoga and other things so this those verses 11 to 35 are a bit concentrated and so every shloka seems to be starting with akarta and atma and avikriya and avinashi and all that and because this is the only place where you hear these things no where else is anybody going to say you are an avinash you will they will say you are better dead than alive that's all they will say <laughs> you are avinash <laughs> so 
very very sacred very uh, very important uh, message that krishna has conveyed so when an action takes place wherever we identify action that entity has to undergo change that entity has to undergo change so if the person has to do something so i have to suppose i say i have to teach then i have to find out what i should teach then i have to find out where did i end the last class then i have to look up what is the next shloka then i have to recall what the shloka means so there is so much thinking there is so much analysis there is so much preparation there is op perhaps opening a couple of books and perhaps listening to some things all this is involved in the preparation just one sankalpa is enough the sankalpa is there yes i must teach tonight that's all that also is a, is a change right all these thoughts are a change in my mind correct all these thoughts imply that the my mind is undergoing a change mind undergoes change constantly and definitely when there is a sankalpa made i want to do this means immediately it sets a series of changes and some of those obvious actions like bringing a book opening a book writing all these are actions and those actions imply a change on the part of the doer so karta means change karta has to change now what about karma karma means object of an action so i want to make tea so i take a vessel i pour the water in it i put some tea leaves in it all these imply change the vessel is changing and the water is now boiling the heater is on and and it's starting to boil water also is undergoing change change process so the object of action so i want to make something that i want to consume so all the things i am doing are all objects of my action they are all targets of my action correct so any target of any action has to undergo change in sanskrit a target of action an object in other words is called karma karma make a note same as other karma also i say i have a lot of punya in my account papa in my account that papa is also called karma same word but here grammatical word karma means object so it's a grammatical word a, a word in vyakaranam in grammar which implies which means object so the subject undergoes change the object undergoes change so this must be made note of and so what is uh, krishna saying here krishna is stating that is beginning to say at least that this atma is avikriya avikriya means unchanging that is what he is going to say here so he is going to say na jayate namriyate va kadachit jayate is not born na jayate atma is not born atma is not born. so we can say there are two types of births in our analysis so one type of birth is where something didn't exist before and it came into being later like a baby is born baby did not exist before baby exists now we say baby is born and uh, another type of birth is called so this birth this type of birth applies to every object also the golden chain did not exist before now it exists it is coming out of the goldsmiths shop to be further refined and uh, and uh, beautified and decked and polished etc so born necklace is born a pot is born a shirt is born so a lot of manufacturing has suffered during this last two months and so hopefully now 
some of that will get revived, come back. Production. So every production implies birth. Now, there's another kind of birth, which is like a seed was there, and now there is a sprout. Previously, I saw it was a seed. Now, the seed is almost there. I can see the seed, but I can even see the sprout. And I can recognize, oh, the sprout has come out of the seed. And then the seed becomes a small sapling, and then it becomes a plant, and then it becomes a tree. Seed, no, seed is completely gone eventually, but you can see the gradual change. You say a sapling is there. Previously, sapling was not there. No sapling is there. And it seems to be, it was there before, it is there now in a different form. That is the second type of birth. Previously, not there before, there now. One type of birth. Another type of birth, it was there before, but now again it is there, but a slightly different form. So, bhavaha, bhavaha, and then abhavaha, bhavaha. These are the two types of births. And atma does not have any of these, these two types of birth types, birth categories. Atma doesn't fall in that category. It has no birth. Now, two types of changes, major changes, two types of changes. A change in Sanskrit is called vikriya. Vikriya. Very interesting. Kriya means action. Vikriya means change. So when a, a, a prefix is added to any Sanskrit uh, word, it can enhance the meaning of the of the of the word, or it can make the meaning opposite, or it can mean something entirely different. So all these things can happen when a prefix is added. So in this case, action is there and change. They are apparently not related. Vikriya. Uh, so Vikriya means change. Now, two types of changes. What is it? First type of change is birth. Second type of change is death. So two biggest type of change. You know, we celebrate at the birth of a baby. We become sad at the death of a person. And so, Two major types of changes that Krishna is going to quote or quoting in this shloka. Na jayate mriyate va kadachit. Kadachit means whatsoever. Na jayate kadachit. Shankara reminds us, reminds us. Na jayate kadachit. Atma is not born whatsoever. Atma is never born. Ityartha. Atma is never born. He says that kadachit, you say make a copy and paste it for jayate and keep one copy for briyate also. Na atma na mriyate kadachit. Correct? So he says do a copy paste. So, Atma is never born. Atma never dies. He is reminding us that. This statement is, is giving us. Giving us a piece of information. And then, so unlike all the other birth and death that we are aware of, including objects, which are, you know, we don't say a pot is born. We don't say a watch is born. We don't say my son, you only say my son drew this nice painting. That's all you say. You don't say the painting is born. You know, that's a very philosophical way of saying it. Nobody says that. Look what my child gave birth to. He gave birth to this painting. You know, I think some people may talk like that. I don't know. I've not met such people. I mean, long ago, I have met some people who talk very poetically and all that, philosophically and all that. So, but all those are also the same thing. Birth of something. Birth of something. Death of something. Now Shankara says, Na jayate mriyate va kadachit. And then he says, Yes, math. He says, Put because afterwards, in between. Nayam bhutva is happening, right? So he says, Before nayam, write because. Is, which means he's saying the second part of that line. 
is the reason why atma na jayate namriyate. Yeah. Now let's see what he says. Na ayam bhutva abhavita na puyaha. Now I don't know what your, your book says. Whether it says bhavita or abhavita, I don't know. But then <clears throat> In this book, I'm looking at it actually says Bhavita. But actually speaking, Gita Press says Abhavita. And uh, uh, Gita Press Shankarabhashyam says Abhavita. Then Shingeri Advaita Sharada says Abhavita. And I looked up Bani Vilas, all works of Shankaracharya, and all Bhashyam, Shankarabhashyam and other Bhashyams, Tika, etc. There also it says Abhavita. So, I am going to go with Apavita and I uh, will tell you the meaning of these words. Nayam Bhutva. Bhutva means I am Bhutva. Having been, Bhutva means having been, means having come into existence, having existed. I am Bhutva. Abhavita. Abhavita means what? Sanskrit class students, Abhavita means this is a Lutlakara. Na bhavishyati, na, na bhavishyati, Lut. future tense. So having been for some time, it disappears, it does not exist. That is what he is saying. Having been, it disappears. That is not there for Atma. Having been, it disappears. So Shankara gives the, gives the example. He, he, he defines death. You know how he defines it? He says, you know, commonly people, when somebody is alive and then he is no longer alive, we say that that person has died. You know, like that is writing. <laughs> As though we don't know what death is. And so he's, he's defining that death. And then he says, that is what the second part of the first line of the shloka is saying. Bhutva, having been Abhavita, not existing. Na bhuyaha. So, nayam bhutva abhavita na bhuyaha. It is not that this atma, having been for some time, ceases to exist. That is the meaning of the second part of the sentence. Okay. It is not that, it is not true that atma, having existed, suddenly disappears, ceases to exist. Okay. That is the meaning of that. <clears throat> and then Shankara says, because there is bhuyaha, because there is va, because there is na, etc. He says, we must also infer another meaning to this. Infer another meaning. He says, bhutva abhavita is one meaning. Abhutva bhavita. Is another meaning. Abhutva bhavita. Now you can guess what that means. Abhutva means not having been. Bhavita will come into existence. Not having been will come into existence. So again, Shankara says, in, in common parlance, we consider birth as when somebody did not exist before and somebody comes into existence. We call that event as birth, like that he says. And he says, uh, Krishna is saying that Atma does not have that event in its life. That it did not exist before and then it came into existence. That is what he's saying. Non-existent previously, now existent. That is not possible for Atma. And because of that, na jayate, na briyate, kadachit. Okay. Now, so very, very straightforward to follow. But we don't know what Atma is. Krishna has to come and tell us what Atma is. This is why. Now, therefore, because of these facts stated in that first sentence, namely that Atma is neither born nor is subject to death. Ajaha. Ajo nitya shashvato yam purana. That ajo is ajaha. Ajaha. 
Aja is the father of who? Dasharatha. Dasharatha's father is called Aja Maharaja, I think. Correct? Rama's grandfather is Aja Maharaja. So Aja, look at the names our culture provides us. Aja, unborn. Unborn. What a name to have for somebody. Hey, you, I know you're born and you're called unborn. What is this? This is very strange. Strange culture. And uh, no, it's not like that. Hey, you are Atma, you are unborn. And you are Amar also. And so, Ajaha, because of those two facts, Atma, Ajaha. And then, therefore, if it is not born, and if it is not going to die, that means what? It has to be not subject to time. Not subject to time. Subject to time means understand. Aging process will be there. Birth and death will be there. That is all implied when we say subject to time. Therefore, he says, Ajo Nityaha. Nityaha. The word Nityaha has come here also. So, Nityaha is there. And then, somebody comes and says, Yeah, Nitya means always there. But then, maybe Atma is there, but it keeps on changing, you know, keeps on changing. Like day and night, earth is constantly revolving, rotating, rotating and revolving. And same thing happens again and again and again and again. And it apparently Nitya, nothing seems to change with earth. And so in terms of day and night, so Atma is like that. Just so that you can get that kind of a doubt, Krishna says, Shashvata. Shashvata. Shashvata means literally means free from change. Nirantaram. Shankara says Nirantaram. Nirantaram means free from change. So, yeah, so it eliminates the possibility that Atma is Nityaha but constantly changing. That possibility is eliminated. Okay. <clears throat> now, there is something called Shad Vikara, six-fold change, six-fold modification, something you, you need to make a note of for any object, especially when it comes to the human body. So, Jayate Asti Bardhate let me do it like this. Jayate is born. Asti. Asti means exists. Is born, exists, means lives. Vardhate grows. The body grows. Child is born, child grows. Typical. These are, these are all the metamorphosis, stages of metamorphosis. Vardhate viparinamate. Viparinamate means transforms, changes. So the child grows into a teenager and then further grows and then body transformation changes, hormonal changes and, and the mustache starts growing, beard starts growing, all these are changes. Viparinamate, body changes. And then what? Then after some time all activity happens and then apakshiyate. After some time apakshiyate declines the body body functions start to decline and it quietly comes in and it does not doesn't come with a knock 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 from tomorrow onwards your decline phase is starting and, uh, no announcement no, no nothing like that just quietly comes apakshiyate and then what vinashyati so yaska yaska was the author of author of a vedanga called nirupta he says that shadvikara Dehaha Shadvikaravan. Dehaha Shadvikaravan. Deha is something that has this six fold modifications. Now, Krishna talked about two modifications Jayate, born, and then Vinashyati, Briyate. Last, only two modifications Krishna talked about. And Shakara says, That is enough for us 
to infer from that that all these intermediate modifications are also negated for atma krishna doesn't have to say na jayate na vardhate na viparinamate na apakshiyate na mriyate he doesn't have to say that so shankara is reminding us that all these six changes are are negated for atma so negated i use a word called negated some of you may be very familiar with it those who are not familiar i'm reminding you once again negated means a quality or an attribute that you thought was there is really not there that's called negation okay now shankara tells a little more he tells us a little more he says this this growth and decline are also not there because what can grow only that which has parts can grow or decline that which has parts can grow or decline the tree is there and then some parts have to be there flowers fruits leaves all these things must be there then it can give a fruit so some part of the tree is changing is growing the car is there it has a lot of parts that is why it can decline that which has no parts cannot decline chakra is making a statement like this can you believe it look at the way they think about all this that which has no parts niravayavatvat na apakshayate pakshiyate because it has no parts atma has no parts it doesn't decline so that's why when your car is you know, something some noise coming in the car you go to the mechanic and says what happened the car has so many parts then he has to say something some you know this exhaust is not working properly it has to be cleaned up etc etc or sometimes he will say yeah your car all parts of your car are okay but in the engine there is a problem now then only you get a heart attack the engine is the main part of the car and uh, and if he says says anything else it was okay but engine has a problem means what so parts whenever something has part then this problem will be there body has many parts therefore apakshiyate can happen these kinds of details he gives so he gives you actually two reasons one is that which has parts can decline and that which has qualities that which has qualities can also decline so if you say something is ripe the fruit is ripe the mango is right now the papaya in 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 kwambatur is amazing you get all kinds of fruits i am just so amazed you get pomegranates you get papaya you get any fruit you want it's all available i don't know it's just we are also blessed and uh, we get all these fruits so you buy buy bananas especially and you if you just close your eyes for a few minutes the banana will become ripe and you have to be careful otherwise you will have to make some banana chutney or something like that uh, because you can't eat that banana <laughs> so i sometimes i wonder you know whether they are putting chemicals and all that sulfur dioxide and i say i think they put all kinds of things sometimes they don't ripe at all this also is a problem so whenever there is a quality then this apakshaya will be there and he says shashvataha shashvataha is mentioned because to negate that apakshaya this decline is not there therefore shashvataha and then one more word uses purana 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 so suddenly two three words two three things come into our mind no purana all puranas bhagavata purana harishchandra purana you know this uh, uh, what is his name uh, so this 18 puranas come to us come to our mind that is one thing that comes and purana also is there hindi mein purana hai so bahut purana very very old old means jeerna old means decay uh those words come to us so definition of the word purana is pura eva namah pura eva namah 
the old alone quran is old ancient the ancient alone is fresh is new nava is new the word new itself comes from sanskrit root nava the ancient is new hey how can ancient be new this is a very contradictory statement ancient can't be new the minute you said ancient it is opposite of new what are you saying ancient is new well purana uh -huh, our puranas are like that and now this krishna is going on on tv when we were chanting this shloka i heard this baby cry i don't know if you heard it or not here but i could hear it this coming from that from the, the tv i think it is krishna krishna was just born they are showing this serial called krishna and so that uh, amazing i felt good when i was chanting uh, you know parthaya pratibodhitam so uh, krishna is saying i heard you i heard you i felt very good so what a coincidence so so purana so the purana means what is contained in this purana is always fresh that is why any day you show the serial the entire country will come to a standstill because they are not bored with this you can't be bored with this you cannot say i am bored with ramayana can anybody have you heard anybody say i am bored with ramayana <laughs> no not possible how can you be bored with ramayana and you just look at it and you get mesmerized was there a life was there a time like this is this the way people live their life and they are careful about every word they speak every sentence they speak and they are doing pranam and namaskar and all these things and it's just so fascinating anyway so this is called purana that word purana he is using for atma to say that this atma again doesn't grow na vardhate na apakshiyate vardhate means it is fresher now than before previously it was a bit stale then afterwards they came up with a great technology and some gas they invented and you pop the gas there and then it becomes fresh or it's like this pesticide you know these days you, you, you i try this in america i tried this you take a green pepper i took a green pepper and it is so hard and i was a very green very big size you know green pepper and then uh, one day i just i kept it outside on the table from the refrigerator i kept it out and kept it there for days it just remains exactly like that normally a vegetable should start rotting some some fungus should come something should happen this green pepper bell pepper just kodamalaha just sitting like a kodamalaha it just does nothing happens and then you wonder what happens yeah we have developed something called a pesticide and the pesticide protects this green pepper protects it from rotting all bacteria cannot come near it then you feel happy then wait a minute what about me i am supposed to eat this green pepper yeah you are supposed to eat this yeah then so what the pesticide is going into me yeah it's going into you of course will there be a problem yeah there can be a problem <laughs> there can be a problem <laughs> but look into it they didn't look into it when they developed all these pesticides and so so that purana when i think of purana i think of this green pepper this is purana only fresh always fresh so but here atma is purana never grows never declines it is always fresh purana so he uses that word here what else is saying here okay so that is the main point which is the that atma is not subject to any of these things and therefore atma has to be akarta why because karta we saw, saw some examples a doer doership implies change change in the body change in the mind change in so many things everything changes doership accompanies change therefore no change means akarta atma is a non doer even though krishna doesn't use the word akarta here we understand that unchanging aspect of atma makes the atma as a non doer akarta okay then what 
Okay. So then, so Ajo Nitya Shashvatoyam Purana Na Hanyate Hanyamane Sharire Sharira Hanyamane Sharire. So this body, when this body dies away, Hanyamane Sharire Na Hanyate Atma Na Hanyate. Atma is not killed or not does not die when the body dies away. Or when the body is killed. Hanya, in fact, means we should kill. It's it, it, it called kill. Let's see what it says here. Uh, yeah, when the body is destroyed, Hanya Mane Shadire, Atma na Hanyate. Atma is not destroyed. So he delineates Atma from the changing body. And here, Shankara makes a point. Wait a minute, last shloka, which last shloka? So this, Yayenam Veti Hantaram Yaschainam Mannyate Yatam Ubautauna Vidani Taha Nayam Hanti Na Hanyate. There also Na Hanyate is given. Here also Na Hanyate Hanya Mani Sharire. So there can, somebody can say, there is a Punarukti Dosha. Punarukti means? Stated again, the fact that was stated just recently was stated again. In the Shastram, it can't be a dosha because we repeatedly we have to say these things. But still, Shankara wants to protect the Shastram. Shankara doesn't have to protect. Shastra will protect itself. But he says, in order to protect the Shastram from Punarukti dosha, Punarukti dosha means what? The defect of repetition. Correct? In order to protect the Shastram from this Punarakti Dosha, we should take Hanyate as, we should not take it as kill, we should take it as changing. He says changing. Atma is subject to change. Like that we should take. And so he says Atma is Avikriya, free from change. Na Hanyate, Avikriya, free from change. Okay? And uh, so, if that Atma cannot change, and if I am Atma, and Krishna is asking, where is the question of Socha? How can I be sad at anybody's death or even so-called my death? Because there is no question of my death. Body is anyway going to die and you cannot stop it. So there is no point being sad. Remember that practical guy? The practical guy said, I am not going to be sad because sadness is not going to solve any problem. On top of that, this body is going to perish anyway. You are welcome to take care of this body. Do take care of it. But accept whatever else happens despite all the best you do, things happen. And so, and so, and on top of that, Atma is Avikriya, Atma na Hanyate and Atma na Hanti. So, Atma is Adikriya, does not change. Therefore, what is the reason for Shoka? This is the question that can be asked, that we can imagine Krishna asking Arjuna. What is the reason for Shoka? And by using these words, Swami Paramarthananda Ji says, He says, Namriyate, by using the words death and so forth, uh, the Shastram removes in us the fear of death. The fear of death, correct? Fear of death slowly goes away. Somebody might say, what is this, Jayakumar Ji? I have come to study Bhagavad Gita about Atma and you are constantly talking about death. <laughs> constantly talking about death. And that too, before night, before going to sleep in India. And uh, fortunately, some of you said, no, the class was inspiring and I felt good. So I am happy about that. <laughs> So, so death is, uh, in order for us not to be afraid of death, we must not be afraid of talking about death also. And so, 
uh, th that is what uh, Swami Paramartha Nandaji of Chennai says that it removes the uh, fear of death. And he, he also said this. He said, we don't use the word death, actually speaking. It is this change of form. And it is just another change. It appears drastic. But really speaking, you look at it as another change that is bound to happen. And then you are, that will help you welcome that change. And that is the best way to take this life. Like that, I remember him talking about this shloka. Okay, so it is about uh, 5 past 10, so we should stop here. So we completed verse number 20, and maybe what we should do is uh, go back to the verse and uh, translate it. So let's see. Let's chant it once. Na jayate mriyate vakada chit na yam bhutva bhavita vana bhuyaha. Ajo nitya shashvato yam pura naha na hanyate hanya mane shari re. Okay. You have to say with atma in brackets, you have to start with atma. Atma na jayate. This self is not born. Mriyate va kada chit. Nor does it buy. Die. Sorry, I should go back. This self is never born because Kadachit, remember, never born. Nor does it die. Or you can say this Atma never dies. Never, we should say. Why never? Because maybe after a long time it will die. A long time ago it was born. How, where did you live long time ago to say Atma it was not born? Before somebody asked this question. How do you know Atma was not born? And so, never dies. Kadachit. Never born, never dies. Next. Na ayam bhutva abhavita vana bhuyaha. It is not that having been Atma ceases to exist again. It is not that Kama having been Kama it ceases to exist again. Full stop. Ajaha nityaha shashvataha ayam purana. Atma is unborn. Ajaha eternal nityaha shashvataha undergoes no change whatsoever. Purana is ever new. It is unborn, comma, eternal, comma, undergoes no change whatsoever, comma. And is ever new. Full stop. Hanyamane sharire, when the body is destroyed, comma, ayam na hanyate, atma na hanyate, the self is not destroyed. That is a literal translation of this. You can say the self does not change. Also, you can say. Because of paying attention to Shankara's observation. Good. So this is uh, this is the first loka uh, said by Krishna, which is in Trishtu uh, Chanda. And often, when so, when somebody passes away, and uh, they chant this particular shloka, among other shlokas like Vasamsa, Jirnani, etc., that's going to come later. They chant these set of slokas uh, as uh, as very appropriate for the occasion. Good. So we will conclude with that. Om Swasti Prajabhya Paripa Layantam Nyaye Namar Gena Mahim Mahisha Go Brahmane Pyashubamastumityam Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu kale varshatu pajanyaha prithivi sasya shalini desho yam shobha rahitaha brahmana santu nirbhaya o sarve bhavantu sukhinaha sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadra nipashyantu 
आत्मा कस्चि दुख भाग भवेद असतो मा सद्गमय तमसो मा ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्योर्मा अमृतं गमय ॐ पूर्णमद पूर्णमिद पूर्णात् पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते ॐ शांति 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 हि हरि हि ॐ श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि हि ॐ Shall I stop the recording? Yeah, please.